What's up world, my name is Charlotte and you're watching Well Around 101, the place where I spend hundreds of hours in custom games and practice most so you don't have to. Today we are continuing our series called Advanced Valorant Tips and Tricks. I'm going to give you some tips or tricks for each Valorant agent that currently exists. Plus, I'm going to give you one cool agent wombo combo that you can perform with your friends, family or your team to surprise and annihilate the enemies. And above all of that, you will receive one more extra Valorant advice from esports professionals. So let's jump straight into the action. Okay, let's kick off this video as always with Breach. We are at the bind. So far, you probably realize that Breach is an entry fragger. In his kit, he doesn't have any kind of ability that is strictly be being used for defense or attack. So you can always be aggressive with this agent, even when you're on the defending side of the map. I'm going to give you one really cool trick which you can perform with your friends on bind at the mid area with teleporter. Every single ability of this agent goes through walls and you can use his ability in combination with teleporter to surprise enemies on the mid area of the map of bind so you teleport mid and tell your teammates to play aggressive in the b window section so you're taking the mid area actually the b short area and b long area with your teammates so one teammate is going to attack b long the other is going to attack b window with you with breach and you are going to attack from teleporter. So at the start of the round, what you wanna do is you wanna charge up your third ability with breach, and you can see on the minimap where your ability is gonna re where your ability is going to reach, like at what distance you are going to fire up this ability. Try to fire it up at this area here, like where I'm firing right now, because you are going to move the enemies that are camping here to mid area. They they are going to be forced to attack B short. And they're not going to be strictly forced, but in their mind they will think like, okay, if we are going to attack, let's attack B short now. Charge up this ability, and it's, it's just gonna pop off through every single wall, and you go into teleporter. Now, enemies know that you are in the teleporter, but they don't know that your teammate is also attacking from the B window. So the whole point of this tips and tricks, this tactic with breach, is to take the B long, the B lobby area, and the B short and B link area. Two of your teammates are on A site, they, they can be passive or aggressive, whatever, but the whole point is to take this area here and surprise the enemies. So what you wanna do now with Breach is take up your flash and try to flash around this corner here. Your flash will go on the other side of the wall behind this box and it will not blind your teammate. Your teammate is standing here. So as soon as the flash pops off, you go out and you attack this mid area, this short area with your teammate. At that same time, your teammate can also attack from B long and you can try taking this B area here, B short and B lobby area. You flash outside from the corner of teleporter, you check this corner, you have this corner and enemies can be here. Also the enemy can be here, but your teammate should take care easily that enemy if, if if he's hiding there so that is how you can easily take a, a b short and b lobby area with breach you can use in some kind of combination your your other ability so for an example you kill the enemy here and you maybe think the enemy is camping here you can use it there and you can also attack b lobby with the other guy from 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 b long that's that's attacking with you so that is what that is one way how you can use uh, breaches abilities in order to take B short and B lobby area and in the same time you don't even need your ultimate ability like if you have ultimate ability that's great like you can even use your, your ultimate and destroy the enemies you don't need ultimate for this tactic all you need is at least one flash and you need your uh, third ability which is going to force the enemies that are camping here so if enemies are already preparing to attack mid area your wall ability your, your third ability which is called uh, the fault line is going to force them like they, they're just gonna be scared they're gonna be like okay let's let's attack b short now let's actually attack b short like we're not go gonna go a let's attack b short so you're forcing them you're tricking enemies mind to actually force them to attack b short and b lobby area as they attack the b lobby uh, and b short you you're going into teleporter they're gonna be watching you like like this. They're gonna be waiting for you or maybe spamming you through wall. Like they're gonna try to 
lure you out. But what's gonna happen, like, the flesh is gonna pop off here, and you they are gonna be, ex like, every single one. If, if, you, if you do it like I showed you before, every single one of your enemies is gonna be flesh here. So the enemy that's standing here, the enemy that's standing here, the enemy that's standing here, and the enemies that are watching this, this types of corners. Of course, if the enemy is, like, here, he will not be flashed, but you have to take that risk and actually try to take the control of B short and B lobby with your teammates. This will give you an amazing, amazing control of the map, like incredible control of the map, and you will be able to rotate one one uh, of your teammates back to A, or your B long guy can go through teleporter to A exit and attack with the guys on A site if, if, if the enemies are going in A bats or A short. These are some tips and tricks you can use with, with Breach. Okay, the second agent on our list is of course going to be Brimstone. This agent is really popular because he has like three smokes, Molotov, Steam Beacon and an ultimate barrage of fire. Like he is extremely, extremely strong. In the previous video of advanced agents tips and tricks, I showed you how to actually take a site on bind map with Brimstone. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to retake the A site from B site of Haven. So actually, Brimstone Molotov can travel through these windows here. They are completely open. So depending to which window you drop the Molotov, the, drop, the Molotov will actually drop on that part of the site. For an example, if you position yourself here, like between those two boxes, right here, and you aim at the center of the first window, slightly above at this, at this wood piece here, like somewhere here, the Molotov will go straight through that window, all the way to the A site, and this Molotov will stop the push from A long. So, if enemies are pushing A log, it will completely stop their push. You can use these windows for any type of, of Molotov. Like, you can try to figure out your own Molotovs. Like, try, tr try to use them to your advantage. You can drop the Molotov at this place here, 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 and here. It's a really, really cool trick. And while you are attacking site with that Molotov, you can also use smoke. If the enemies have already passed through site and you cleared with Molotov this area, you can put your smoke here and you can put your smoke below below the actual site or somewhere here. And you can actually attack the site. So you've eliminated this threat. Okay, I, I kind of screwed up this, this smoke. It should be right here. So you elim eliminated this threat here, eliminated this threat here. You have the Molotov here. And all you need to worry about is cleaning this corner. Then, when you enter the site, you can enter it here, try to kill he enemies here, try to clean this area here. When the smoke disappears, try to clear under heaven. And then, w when, when you cleared under heaven and you clear the site, you can come here and try to clear enemies that are at the A short area camping here. If they planted the bo bomb or they're attacking the A site. It's a really cool trick which you can use to actually uh, retake the A site from the B bomb site of uh, Haven. Okay, now we are at the split map with Cypher. Cypher, as you already know if you follow my channel, is my favorite agent so far. I really love this agent. It has so much team playability. Like, if, if, if you are a good aimer and you know how to play Cypher, like this agent will give so much to your team. So today I'm going to teach you about some really cool camera spots that you can use on this map. So the first camera spot that's really OP right now is this spot here. So you come at the heaven of this of this uh, part of the map. It's the A rafters and uh, you want to jump and place your camera at this angle here. So jump, press your left click and place the camera there. It's a really cool spot, you will be able to notice enemies that are going to attack your A site even before the round even starts. It's a really, really OP spot to use your camera with this agent on this map. Second camera that is really, really broken with Cypher on split is this one. Basically, if the enemies are pushing B bomb site from, from this uh, B, B main area, B lobby area, you can use the camera at this ledge here. So you just come at the, at the corner of this 
of this ledge, you take your camera and you place it like this. Just just follow my my pl uh, crosshair placement. And once you place it, you're able to see the enemy's actual spawn. Like you can actually see if the enemies are going mid, if the enemies are going B, and you can easily tag them. If they see your camera, you can pick it up and place it somewhere else. S second spot that is really broken for Cypher's camera on a split map are the spots that are actually out of boundaries of this map here. So you can place it here and you can actually check if someone is coming heaven or if someone is pushing the B main or you can actually place it at this at this uh, building here. So something like this. And enemies like who like come on, come on. Like enemies are go going to wash there. Nobody's going to wash there. Like your, your enemies are going to come here. They're going to check the site here. They're going to check this area, heaven, uh, uh, everything. They, they they will never they will never notice the camera here and here. It's those two spots are the two main spots that you want to use with Cypher. This one, this one, and this one on B side of the split map. Really, really OP spots and I highly recommend them. The fourth tips and tricks are of course going to be for Jet. If you do updraft, which is her second ability, which allows you to propel Jet into the air, if you use the updraft without jumping, like it, it, it's gonna be performed like a normal updraft. Like, you can reach a certain height with with this ability, which, which is gonna be right here. But, if you perform this ability with your actual jump, you're able to jump around, I think, 20% or 30% higher. With updraft, I'm able to come to this spot here, and with updraft plus jump, I'm able to come at this spot right here. So, right now, I'm using just the updraft, Right now, I'm gonna use updraft plus jump. One more really, really good tip that I wanna give you is that her smokes can actually travel through teleporters. So you can trick your enemies into thinking that you are in the teleporter. This this smoke will also open the doors of teleporter. And uh, the really cool thing about this is of course like uh, the sound is not the same but in the middle of the round when there is a lot of fighting etc you can use this this little trick to just basically confuse the enemies if they are attacking be short and the doors suddenly open from your smoke they will instantly turn around and see if maybe you are in the tele if somehow you came into teleporter so it's a really really cool thing which you can use to trick the minds of your enemies and use it to your advantage. Okay, now I'm gonna show you some really really cool Molotovs that you can use on the attacking side of Bind with Phoenix. So, for an example, you're clearing the bathroom area with your teammates. So you're checking every single corner, you're going around checking this corner, checking this corner, trying to kill an enemy, try to find the enemies and you clear the bathrooms. You know that your enemy is always playing either this position here or this position here. You can use two very simple Molotovs to clear those two areas. So, if the enemy is constantly playing this area here on the boxes, you can use this Molotov lineup to clear those boxes. So you basically just come to this wall, you can shift to it, you can do whatever you want, and line up your crosshair between this edge here and this edge here like like slightly below this corner somewhere here bam and the molotov will go up and straight down and destroy your enemy if the enemy is constantly here here or here you can do the same molotov but just from the different side you come to this part of the edge so uh basically you have these uh these patterns on the ground you need to come at this edge here and you line up your crosser between this edge here and this edge here slightly above this angle like somewhere here and you BAM throw it and your enemy at that bench and in this corner is dead so you can easily clear out other corners and focus on the other sides of the map where the enemies might be okay now we are gonna give some love to my second favorite agent which is of course going to be sage sage is a really good supporter 
healer and a deadly assassin if you are actually good at the game. So, you can play with Sage also very aggressive, even, even if you are a support, like, you can be an aggressive player. So, this is one of the most cool walls that you can perform on this map. This is a split map, A bomb site. So, you come to this corner here at A rafters and you place your wall at this position here. You can use this position to... This is an off angle, which your enemies will never expect. So when your enemies peek, you're gonna have an easy kill on them. The same trick you can use on the opposite side of the map to peek uh, a rafter's heaven. So you can come at this spot here and you can place your wall at this, at this block here. So jump up, place your wall be below yourself and you can see the whole B rafters and take an easy kill on your enemies. There are also some really cool combos which you can do with Jet to to peek this corner, like to peek uh, all the way up there. It, the, the, the places where you can place Sage Wall, incredible, incredible on this map. Here is one more really cool place where you can use Sage Wall ability, which might not be that useful, but you're going to get a lot of information for your team if you don't have any other source of info. So, for an example, you can place your wall at this area here and you can actually spot your enemies that are going to B site or mid area even before the round even starts. So you can clear this part of the map easily. Like, you, you, you get so much knowledge, so much information for your team. But you lose the wall which, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's not the best idea to... to use it in this way but it's just a cool tip maybe it will help you sometimes maybe you win some rounds etc we are moving into soa today i'm going to teach you how to use soa's emitter and actually the shock bolt to kill your enemies and surprise them at the mid area of split so here are two really cool lineups which you can do with those with soa in order to stop the push from your enemies on split. Usually what people do on split mid area is they are going to camp here and they are gonna push you from this side or they are going to camp here and they are going to push you from this side here. Basically you can, you can stop alone these two pushes and kill enemies easily or, or at least deal damage to them. This is the first lineup. You wanna come to this corner right here, aim at this angle right here and you wanna connect the top of these boxes and this angle here so you aim like this you double charge it and BAM the arrow goes straight into this wall it bounces from this wall and straight here destroying all of your enemies so let's watch that once more with the emitter so basically you can also place your emitter in the same way so you come to this spot right here you aim down sight straight into it you connect this edge, this uh, top roof of these boxes here, with this angle right here, and you double charge it, bam, and kabam! Your enemies are destroyed, or, or at least you're gonna deal some damage to them. How can you stop the push from the other side? Well, there's an easy trick also. So, you come to this angle right here, and you wanna line up this corner with the centerpiece of this uh, triangle so you come here and now you want to aim there is a little mark like you, you can see it it's a little spot on the wall like it's really bright like a it's it's a white 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 spot whitey spot you want to aim at that spot right there double charge bam the arrow travels from here to here and it bounces all the way here but remember your enemies are not going to push that fast from this side because th this is where their barrier is. So try to delay this, this arrow a bit. So if you are shooting it, for example, the barrier goes down right now. You should shoot it like two seconds after the barrier goes down. So for example, you're going to count one, two and bam. And it's gonna destroy your enemies right here. Cool. An easy little trick with Sova's arrows. Okay, now is the time to give some love to Viper players. So if you are a Viper on attacking side, 
basically you can take the whole a site with only one ability well you still need to aim and still you need to get into sight and kill enemies but how can you actually obstruct the vision of players that are playing a ramp and hate uh, a rafters in the same time with only one ability basically you can use her thir third ability the toxin screen with this lineup you come to this uh, this leaf right here and you aim at this side of the leaf basically at, at this corner of the leaf you just place your crosser there then what you want to do you aim the dot the the, the dot you, you see this dot where the ability is shown you aim that dot with the wall of this building like place it at the corner of this wall and just press left click bam what this is going to do for you this is going to make a wall for your whole team at this side here which is amazing and it's going to cover the whole heaven side of a uh, bomb site and now you only need to check the corners enter the site with your team and hopefully some of your teammates also have the abilities you can drop your your smoke there for an example and also clear that area and you only have to worry about the site now all five of you can enter clear the corners plant the bomb and the site is yours moving on into my man my g o man i'm going to show you one really cool trick with this agent basically when you use his second ability which is called paranoia you gain a slight boost to your jump so what does that mean that means that you can jump slightly higher at some boxes or edges on which you wouldn't be normally able to so for an example you're not able to jump on this box like whatever you do you will be unable to jump on it but if you use paranoia and you jump at the same time i mean you use paranoia then you jump you are able to jump on this box same goes for this one you use paranoia and then you jump you see really easy you can also perform slightly longer jumps with this ability so you start running you press your ability and bam you're up on these boxes but with without this ability without this this uh, longer jump you will be unable to reach this ledge of the map so this is a really cool way in which you can incorporate your second ability with your jumping technique that i've taught you already and now moving on to the raids really op character really really op character the first one to get nerfed but she still has her bomb if you are defending the c site of map haven you can perform a really cool bomb trick to clear the long area of C. So if enemies are attacking you from this side here, they'll probably attack you from this angle, then going here, then go into C cubby. When they're in the C cubby, you can perform this really easy signature ability of phrase. So you basically line up your crosshair with this edge here, you move it upwards, up, 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 until the edge of this cloud and slightly above somewhere there and you left click bam what's gonna happen all four bombs that th that come from that one bomb will drop into this part here and kill or at least highly damage your enemies you can also readjust this ability a bit for an example you can drop it between between this cloud and this edge here somewhere there and it will travel and all the enemies that are pushing in C cubby and this area here will be caught into that line of fire and now ladies and gentlemen wombo combo time so today wombo combo is with sage and raise basically you can boost a sage can boost you with the wall around this corner and you can use your c4 and ultimate to destroy and surprise your enemies how should that look like just like this so first off sage puts a wall for you right there then you're able to peek your enemies here if you hear enemies footsteps 
you can plant C4 below you, you can put your rocket and you BAM! Destroy them all, they will never expect you and you are going to annihilate your enemies with a surprise. This combo is really useful on many maps and many spots, it can be used also up here because enemies will never but never expect you that you are going to pick them from above and you will rain over them. That is a special Wombo combo of this episode of Valorant Advanced Tips and Tricks. And now Valorant Extra Tip! Well, I cannot call this a professional tip or anything special, but I've seen a lot of you guys and gals performing like really bad actions in this section of split map. Like, a lot of you guys don't know how these ropes actually work. So the first thing that you can actually do with ropes on split map, like if you are shifting, if you are holding shift, you will make no sound when you are going down or up those ropes. So you will make no sound. For example, like this, you make a lot of sound and you, don't, you never want to do that. You always want to shift when you go up or down these ropes so the enemies don't know your location. Second thing, when someone is going upwards, the pitch is higher. Listen. So it has a higher pitch when you go upwards. It has the higher sound frequency. And when you go down, it has lower sound frequency. It's really interesting detail, but it will help you. It will help you uh, know if enemies are co coming up or down the ropes. And one more thing, you are 100% accurate on these ropes like it, it doesn't work the same way as it works in 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 csgo in csgo when you're on some kind of a ledge or some kind of uh like a ropes or anything like that you're really inaccurate in this game your accuracy stays the same on these ropes really cool tip which might save your life one day and you'll say oh thanks god i watched the charlatans advanced valorant tips and tricks number two numero dos numero dos i really hope that you found these valorant tips and tricks helpful i'll keep this series on a weekly basis so you will always be able to learn something new and useful with your favorite agent and generally about Valorant gameplay. And write me down in the comments, do you prefer this type of the video where I kinda casually explain you and show you directly how to perform these tips and tricks or do you want more of a, I don't know, kinda professional way of doing things like a post-edit commentary like I did the first episode? Just write, write down in the comments, tell me, tell me what do you think. I truly value your insight and opinion. But until the next episode, subscribe, turn on those guy notifications and spank that bell icon so you don't miss any new content from me, myself, Charlatano. If you enjoyed this video, if you perform some of these tips and tricks, leave a like. It helps me a lot, you know? You can also share this video, spread the word about this channel with everyone you know. Teach your nuberino, beginnerino, beginner's friends how to play Valorant with my coaching. In the description you have other social media where you can follow me for some future live streams and high octane action. And you can also join my official Discord server. I want to keep in touch with all of you, my dear friends. I'm yours one and only warden of the Valorant community. Thank you for watching and cut! <laughs>